How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. Now, if I mention Rode or Rode microphones to you, chances are you'd know what they are, especially if you're in the content creation world or you're a filmmaker, etc. So Rode, uh, this company in Australia, I think they're Australian based, and they make some of the best and most affordable way of recording audio out there. In fact, I'm using their current video mic go, which is uh, really literally just hooking up, hooked up to my t-shirt there. So it's something I've been using for a long time and when they hit me up to check out their new headphones, I had to, I had to check it out and see what it's all about. Maybe it's just another tool. It's gonna be another tool that's essential in my bag of Rode equipment. Let's check it out. This is the new Rode NTH100 Professional Overhear Headphones. It comes very well packaged and the presentation is very Rode. On the outside, you have all the specs and what to expect inside the box, so check it out. Opening the box, you are greeted with a pair of NTH100 in its storage pouch. You get a 3.5mm to quarter inch adapter in gold finishing. You get a set of collars ID and a long 2.4m headphone cable. A closer look at the headphone, you'll notice how well it's built and it's built to be comfortable, durable and premium. The ear cups are contoured to the shape of the ears and are finished in Alcantara. The type that you see in luxury cars or fast cars, for example, like Lamborghinis and stuff. It's also easily removable for cleaning and it covers the soft memory foam underneath it with Rode Cooltech for easily dissipating heat. Under the adjustable headband is another detachable memory foam covered with Alcantara. I quite like the exposed cable too, and it's not going to snap when extending the headband, at least not yet anyway. So time will tell over the time I use it and test it and see how that goes. What's interesting here, however, is the fit lock locking system that allows you to lock the headband position into place. I've not seen something like this before, and although the headband itself doesn't freely slide up and down, it's cool to still have something to lock it in place. Again, how durable the lock is, I don't know yet. Ask me again, maybe in a month or so. Otherwise, it feels durable and the headband is flexible enough to stretch over a large head size like mine. What's a shame here though, is the ear cups don't have much movement to them so it doesn't rotate or fold away nicely for transport. But I do love the branding on the outside including the gold road dot on each side and the braille on the ear cups for easily identifying which side is which, as well as the red dot on the right side so you know that's the right side. Talking of each side, the audio cable can be plugged in either side which is neat nice, and the colors ID can be placed easily on the cable so it's easy to spot which end is going inside the headphones and which end is going into your audio source. The cable also comes with a screw in lock style so once it's in there, it won't come off easily. Although this could be bad if someone accidentally hooks the cable, hooks onto the cable, so that would drag you with it as well. As far as premium go, I think the Alcantara used there is the only premium bit on there that I can really associate with and say that's premium. But everything else is plasticky and stuff like that. But that's not a big problem. It just means it keeps it lighter as well. And it's still got a bit of metal there for the headband. So that's a bonus. If anything, I'd say maybe the cable could be finished in fabric sort of coating to make it just feel extra bit premium. Okay, let's talk about the sound quality. The NTH100 has 40 mil dynamic drivers that are custom matched for accurate frequency response. It features a 32 ohms impendence sweet spot so you can connect it to your smartphone without the need for an amp or sound equipment with no concerns on power. This falls in a range for the type of headphones professional DJs use, for example. Its professional nature continues with how sensitive it is at 110 decibels. Again, just a perfect sweet spot for loudness with a maximum of 126 decibels of sound pressure level. Although these are not particularly noise cancelling headphones, you still get an ambient noise attenuation of 20 dBA, so you won't have the outside noise spilling in or your sound won't be spilling out to your microphone when you're recording with it. It isolates the sound very well, which is great. It makes it comparable in many ways to open back headphones, uh, considered professional with the advantages of a closed back headphone. Overall, using it for my recording and editing sessions, it offers a natural sounding experience and a great deal of detail and clarity. And I think Rode has nailed this once again for their content creator community. Over to you though, let me know what you think of this new NTH100. Would you get one of these? Is it too pricey? Is it perfect for what you need to do? Let me know what you think. I've been using this in terms of monitoring audio and using it for editing my audio as well. And I really like this. This might not be the only pair of headphones that I carry everywhere with me when I travel or just use it in the studio with me. So that's really good. But over to you though, let me know what you think. But in the meantime, please do subscribe if this is your first time around here and smash the bell notification as well. So you get notified every time I upload a new video like this up on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.